Panda. Allow me to start by giving out a quick content warning. This is unfortunately a, what I'm about to get into is only an act of trans violence. So if you're not in the right headspace for it, I get it. But so I'll give you all a quick moment. Okay. So I like to dedicate a quick moment, like a quick, well, not even dedicate, whatever. So unfortunately over at the UK, uh, a trans teenager by the name of Brianna Gay was murdered by two other 15 year olds. But it is, she was, a, she was murdered by two other 15. Two 15 years are currently arrested. It is very obviously a hate crime. Um, before I get to uh, too much more detail, this is the GoFundMe link to help the family. They only needed like 5K and then the GoFundMe has reached 54K, but no money in the world is going to bring back someone that we've lost. In the middle of the conversation, with in the US 300 new laws being passed against the trans community. The UK doing hor like just being generally horrible against the trans community. Scottish uh over at the Scottish people or our Scottish government is basically that whatever like sex you're assigned at at birth is the prison we're gonna put you in regardless of gender identity. The world is not safe at the moment for trans use, but the world is not safe at the moment for individuals that are, that identify as trans, whether it be non-binary, he, she, it doesn't matter. The world is just not safe for a trans, for trans individual. And the age doesn't even uh, matter. The U S is focusing a lot on trans youth because they, that's how they hide their bigotry. They use children for it. But at the end of the day, this is an attack on all trans people. We need to do better. If we say that we're allies to the trans community, we need to be actual allies. It starts with education. It starts with empathy. It starts with a want and a need to learn and to grow. The expectation isn't that you suddenly wake up one day and become an expert on all things of the trans community or all things of the non-binary community. That's not the expectation nor the goal. The expectation and the goal is just a basic level of respect, understanding that there are some humans that just walk a different path than you do. And that doesn't make them wrong. That just means that they're on a path that's different from yours. No more, no less. Unfortunately, the fact that we allow so much vitriol to be normalized via the media, via religion, via social media, allows for situations like this, where two 15 year olds felt justified in murdering a 16 year old. Hate is not something that is inherited. Hate is something that is taught. And it being 2023, we should be better than this, but we're not. Hell, we can't even figure out what to do about a video game, let alone anything beyond that. Educate yourselves. Get some empathy if you don't have any. You don't have to sit here and again, know everything there is about the trans community. You just have to know enough to remember that they're human beings, just like your reflection. And they deserve to be treated as such. They deserve rights. They deserve the right to exist without the fear of violence, persecution, or judgment just for doing nothing else and being their authentic selves. Unfortunately, if there is such a future, it is one that won't have Ms. G Ms. Gay with us. Someone who was literally only 16 years old before her peers 
decided to take what little light she had. She was still young. Her light was still developing, still blooming, still growing. She had dreams. She had hope. She was going to school. So just like to, to, to trying to learn how to be a productive member of society. She was doing the same thing every other 16 year old was doing. And two other teenagers, just one year younger than her, felt that it was still not enough. Felt that she was not human. Felt that she deserved to not exist. I'm not going to go into specifics on how or why they did it. Just know that it was horrifically violent. And two 15-year-olds of all ages shouldn't be walking down that path to begin with. That is a failure, not just in their parents, but us as an entire society, that if a 15-year-old can wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to literally murder someone simply because they're different from me, we have failed. We have failed drastically. We failed Ms. Brianna Gay. We failed every single child that we lose, whether trans or not. For any flavor of hate of hatred, whether it be transphobia, anti-Semitism, racism, whatever the result may be, or the reasons why, if we have teenagers murdering other teenagers, we have failed. If that's the world that y'all want, y'all are fucking evil. And there is Whatever, whatever, whatever you tell yourself, however you use your religion to justify you, I hope you know that you can fool your neighbor who's just as hateful as you are, but you can fool whatever deity you claim to exist and you claim to. Your evil will be well known and may karma give you the day and eternity that you deserve. Rest in peace, Brianna Gay. <sighs> We're fucking people. Why can't we just fucking be treated like people? It's such a simple concept. That's literally it. That is quite literally it. Like we, we see the hashtags like trans women are women, trans men are men, you know, like, but let's simplify that shit. Trans, because we unfortunately we have to. Trans people are people. They're human beings. They don't deserve to literally think they're going to be murdered every step of the way. For someone like Brianna Gay, all of her dreams were cut short, and they were cut short because of transphobia. Do better, Earthlings, because this isn't just a U.S. problem. It's definitely a loud U.S. problem, but it's not uniquely a u.s problem do better earthlings especially for the kids you claim to want to love and protect oh so much because if that's your goal the uh, you know doing it for the kids to, to keep them safe and everything try raising them to not be transphobic racist anti-semitic murderers might be a good place to start